All right, guys, here is the completed jack. Sorry about all the background noise. I'm viciously 3D printing at the moment. I can't spare any spare seconds. So, um, <laughs> i got to say, pretty much every part of this had to be printed multiple times due to thresholds and tolerances and things like that. But I'm learning, and that's why we're doing these tests, because we don't want to do it when doing the Cupid Pie. So I've got my mobile phone behind me, and I'm uh, just going to run this up and down so you can see how well it works. Pretty good. Um, there's, uh, you know, once again that 100 millisecond sort of jitter, but now that I've got the bigger diameter wheel, it's not bad. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, and you'll see what happens if I put a load on the top. So that's just a spool of uh, solder, probably weighs about 100, 150 grams, maybe thereabouts. Lifts it, but she struggles. And if I put that can on that I was saying earlier, there is literally no way. No. No, doesn't want to lift it. But the cool thing is, it does lift its own weight. So you can turn it upside down. Which is good, because that's essentially how the mechanism is going to work. The wheel will be down here. Uh, you know, the drive pod will be down here, and then this gear will be fixed in place, and the... Um, uh, you know, the gear will essentially be connected to the drive plot as it moves up and down, so that's a good indication that it actually works. <coughs> anyway, I will go back to the drawing board now and continue to work on how we increase the torque. I think we're going to have to fundamentally just get a bigger servo and just deal with the fact that um, when we multiply it by two, we're just going to have a maximum weight limit. Anyway, I'll do some more scientific tests and figure out what the actual limit is, but um, for the moment, good enough video to show you how it all works. Cheers, guys.